Welcome to the Spoken Tutorial on Overview and Installation of Git. In this tutorial, we will learn about Version Control System, Git, and Installation of Git on Ubuntu Linux and Windows Operating Systems. For this tutorial, you should need a working internet connection. You should also have either Ubuntu Linux or Windows Operating System. To follow this tutorial, you should be familiar with either of the mentioned operating systems. First, let us learn what is VCS, that is Version Control System. Version Control System is like a backup system. It manages the changes in documents, computer programs and websites. It provides a historical record of what you have done over time. VCS is also known as Revision Control, Source Control and Source Code Management. Some examples of VCS are RCS, Subversion and Bazaar. Next, let us start with Git. Git is a distributed version control software. It is a free and open source software. It keeps track of changes made to a file or set of files. It allows developers to work collaboratively. It manages and stores versions of projects. It helps in tracking the project progress history. The salient features of Git are as follows. We can go back and recover previous versions of our work. We can see the complete history of all the changes. Conflicts can be easily resolved using the suggestions given by Git. If there is loss of data, it can be restored from any of the client repositories. Git can be used by programmers, web developers, project managers, writers and many others. Anyone working with text files, sheets, design files, drawings, etc. to track versions. People who work collaboratively on an activity or project. Now, let us see how Git works. Git actually stores a snapshot of entire project. Snapshot is similar to taking a picture of all the files at that moment. If some files have no changes, Git doesn't store them again. It links them to the previous version. In the event of failure, the data is restored from the snapshot. Let me show glimpses of some features covered in this series. Basic commands of Git, the Git checkout command, inspection and comparison of Git, and tagging in Git. In this series, we will also learn about branching in Git, deleting and merging branches, and stashing and cleaning. Git can be installed on Ubuntu Linux using Ubuntu Software Center. For more details on Ubuntu Software Center, refer to the Linux tutorials on this website. I have already completed the installation of Git on my system. Now, let us verify this. Go to the terminal and type git space hyphen hyphen version and press enter. We can see the version number of Git displayed. This means that Git is installed successfully. Next, let us learn to install Git on Windows OS. Open your web browser and go to www.git-sem.com. Click on the downloads link on the left side. Click on Windows icon to download Git for Windows. The Save As dialog box appears. Click on Save File button. The installer file will be downloaded in the default downloads folder. Double click on the exe file to install git. In the dialog box that appears, click on run and then on yes. Now click on next. In the general public license page, click on next. By default, git is installed in program files. Click on next. We can select the components to install. Click on the additional icons checkbox. Then click on next. Again click on next. Here you can select the option to run the git commands. 
I will select Use Git Bash only and click on Next. I keep this option as default and click on Next. Git is installing. This may take few minutes depending on your internet speed. Click on Finish button to complete the installation. Now the Git release nodes opens up automatically. Let me close it. You will see a shortcut icon Git Bash created on the desktop. Double click on it to open. Alternatively, you can click on Start menu, All Programs, Git and then click on Git Bash. Now Git Bash will open. It shows the installed version number of Git. So we know that Git is installed successfully. With this, we come to the end of this tutorial. Let us summarize. In this tutorial, we have learnt about version control system, Git, and installation of Git on Ubuntu Linux and Windows operating systems. The video at the following link summarizes the spoken tutorial project. Please download and watch it. The Spoken Tutorial Project team conducts workshops and gives certificates to those who pass online tests. For more details, please write to us. Spoken Tutorial Project is funded by NMEICT, MHRD, Government of India. More information on this mission is available at the following link. This is Priya from IIT Bombay. Thanks for joining.